After we get the mount position, the next thing to do is submit your partner. There's nothing better to do than just get it set. The main goal of Jiu Jitsu is submitting the other person. So that's what, that's all my goals are from here. Worst case scenario, I can't tap him out. I would start transitioning to the back and start changing submissions from the back. However, if we can avoid that step of transition to the back, submit straight from mount, is a, it's a lot better, it's a lot better option. So here, the, the arm triangle. I like a lot to do arm triangles from mount because it's a position that I don't compromise too much my, my pin. If I miss the arm triangle, I can always go back to mount or even transition to the back. On the other hand, if you, for example, try an arm bar, you're gonna end up uh, losing the mounts. If you lose the arm bar, you pretty much lose everything. You're gonna be in a bottom position playing guard. So let's get into it and do the arm triangle from the mount. Okay. So my partner is gonna be here in this defensive position, crossing his arms, avoiding me isolating the arms. As we've seen previously, I'm gonna start isolating his arm from his body. So if Jake makes a real strong arm here, and I touch this standard 201 grip, make a strong arm for me, Jake. Even though I'm using 201, it's, it's not an easy task. So I'm gonna use this grip here, it's a palm up, cross grip on his wrist. So once I get this, this cross grip with the palm up, it's a lot stronger grip because of five different muscles on his back. So if I just try to push them across, make strong arm for me, Jake, see that I can pin his wrist to the mat. On the other hand, if I go for my standard 201 grip, make a strong wrist, he keeps his arm. It's not as easy. So that's my first thing I wanna do. Palm up, cross wrist grip, I'm gonna start trying to isolate his arm and pin his arm to the mat. I'm gonna change my pin for the same side hand and I'm gonna try to fit this wrist to the other hand, controlling his head. So now I have a situation that I'm controlling his head, isolating one arm with only one hand, right? So now my goal is lifting his elbow above his head. I'm gonna bring my, my secondary arm, my, my right hand here, and I'm gonna underhook him. Jake makes a strong arm. It's gonna be still hard to lift his elbow off the mat. So all we're gonna do is what we call the finger walk. So I'm gonna place my fingers on the ground and I'm gonna start walking slowly with my fingers. If I find some resistance, all I need to do is extend my arm and then I carry on. And I carry on, carry on, carry on until I manage to bring his elbow above his head. I'm gonna draw a semicircle with my hand trying to do this finger walk. Something that I can never let it happen is lose contact with my hand with the ground. Jake makes a strong arm here, and I'm fighting here. I lift my hands, I'm gonna lose all the space that I want. So again, I'm gonna keep my fingers on the ground. I finger walk, finger walk. Once I find some resistance, I can't go any further. I extend my arm, keeping my fingers on the mat all the time, and I carry on all the way until his elbow is above his head. Now I'm gonna use my head to keep his, his arm in place. And I'm gonna let go of this grip as I'm gonna cup grip his triceps right here and I keep my head right here, always tight. Okay, so now I have a head and arm isolated with only one arm. I need to adjust this grip. Just this is not good enough. I really need to adjust my grip. So how am I gonna adjust my grip? First of all, I need to lift his head off the mat. So my right hand here is gonna be my supporting arm. I wanna support his head right here, okay? If Jake tries to bridge or something, touch bridge Jake, I'm gonna do this as a pose and I bring back my supporting hand, right? So every single reaction he does, I might lose my balance because I have both of my hands Next to my body, he breathes. I post, supporting hand. Now I need to adjust my, my grip right here. So I'm gonna keep my arm, my right hand I'm gonna keep. So my elbow, you see my elbow is not under his head. I need to bring my elbow underneath his head. So I'm gonna keep, 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 keep until the crease of my elbow connects to the far corner 
of his neck right there now my elbow is underneath his head i can like i can let go my supporting hands and i'm gonna grab i favor get grabbing the wrist to wrist grip so i'm gonna touch both of my wrists together crossing my arm like that and i just hold my own wrist my right elbow i'm gonna open as far as i can now if jake try to bump me over my elbow is gonna be my support all right to to finish the, the arm triangle now i have to dismount okay so because the, the arm triangle is already tight there the person on the bottom is gonna be a bit desperate trying to escape so i'm gonna use this exactly this one once he raises his hips trying to escape this one i'm gonna dismount i just rest my knee on his hip i want to bring my head down towards the mat and my left elbow towards his chest to finish i'm gonna do this now from a different angle so you guys can see from the side. I'm right here, and then get my cross grip, palm up, I isolate his arm, I change my pin for the opposite hand. Cradle the head, and I feed the wrist to the other hand. I'm going to underhook, and I'm going to start doing my finger walk. So I'm drawing a semicircle if I find some resistance I can't move anymore. Extend my arm, and then I carry on, carry on, carry on, all the way until his elbows above his head. Now I'm gonna change the grip on the wrist for the armpits and I'm gonna lock with my head. So I should bring the elbow down now, Jake. Alright, now it's gonna be a very difficult thing. My right hand is gonna be my supporting hand for his head. If he tries to bridge, I use it as a support hand and now it's bring back. Now I need to keep my arm and bring my elbow underneath his head. So I'm gonna keep, every time I keep, my elbow slides under his neck. That's exactly what I want. Wrist to wrist grip. I flare my elbow very wide. Now once Jake tries to breathe to escape, I'm gonna dismount. My hip goes to the mat, my head goes to the mat, and my left elbow is gonna go towards his chest. Right there. So just one quick detail here. Uh, just, just, just seeing, uh, it's very important once I have this head and arm that my elbow right here goes on the far corner of his head. So I'm right here in this position, wrist to wrist, right there. If my elbow is a little out like that, it's not gonna work. That's why I'm supporting and I keep, keep, keep until my elbow goes on the far corner, wrist to wrist, fly your elbow and stay very tight head to head. Once again, just from this angle again, the, the first one. So, pin the wrist, change, control the head, feel the wrist, finger walk, lift his elbow up, cup grip his arm, control with your head. Support his head, keep, 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 wrist to wrist, control your wrists, Fly your elbow, once he breathes, I'm gonna dismount, head to the ground, hip to the mat, and my left elbow towards his chest. For watching this video, please like, comment, and subscribe.